So this week we're looking in more detail at the assessment processes for senior computer education, uh, particularly the QCAA processes for digital solutions. Um, so we've explored the syllabuses and we've explored the content of the subjects. Now we've had a little look at the endorsement and confirmation processes and the idea of internal assessment and external assessment. Now, we're going to go in a little bit more detail now, exploring the various aspects of assessment in digital solutions. So as we know, in year 11, the assessment is formative. So it doesn't count for students' final marks. Um, in almost all situations, there are some circumstances where it may, um, where, for example, if students are unable to complete assessment in year 12, where in that sort of exceptional circumstance, it may um, incorporate some year 11 results. And there's also another aspect in some schools start digital solutions in the last semester of year 10. So they have normally three semesters of year 11 instead of the traditional two. So there can be variations on the processes. But in the main, school-based assessment is established by teachers and by the school. It does need to be endorsed and confirmed. So there is a process whereby there are some checks on what you are doing. But in terms of uh, specifics, as we will see with year 12, um, it's not as thoroughly um, monitored and fixed as we have in the year 12 work. So one other aspect of the assessment process is the endorsement and confirmation processes. Now these relate particularly for the year 12 material, um, IA1, IA2, IA3, and for the, um, there are processes you can also get involved in, in terms of writing material for the external exams. Um, generally, if you're not teaching the subject that year, that, that sort of exceptions. But I would encourage you to explore becoming an endorser or a confirmer, um, because that will help you understand these processes in far more detail. Of course, while they're currently established, they change all the time, they evolve and improve. And being familiar with them means that you will be able to uh, maximize the opportunities for your students to do well within the system as it's set up around their assessment. So looking at the year 11 internal assessment, um, there's two samples uh, for unit one and unit two, and we'll go through those in the tutorial and just unpack what they mean in a little bit more detail.